MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 35 Kinematics Average Acceleration from Velocity and Time All right, let's delve into the question. In 1997, the thrust SSC, a turbofan-powered vehicle, achieved land speed world record of 760.34 miles per hour or 1,223.65 kilometers per hour and became the first car to break the sound barrier. If it took only one minute for the thrust SSC to reach its top speed, what was the average acceleration during this time, or during that time rather? Was it A, 3.53 meters per second squared, B, 5.67 meters per second squared, C, 7.88 meters per second squared, or D, 9.82 meters per second squared? I'll give you a moment to select the correct kinematics formula and to come up with um, a solution. And just in case you're wondering what kinematics means, it's the branch of physics that basically describes the motion of objects without making a reference to the force acting on the object or the mass of the object. So take your time and come up with a strategy for selecting the correct solution. All right. Okay, so hopefully by now you arrived at an answer, and if you didn't, that's totally fine as well. So we're given velocity, and we're also given the time. And we're asked to find the average acceleration. Therefore, we can use the kinematics formula A equals V over T, where A stands for average acceleration, V is the velocity, and T is the time of travel, okay? So um, remember that, you know, these units are given in meters per second, but we're given um, a velocity in kilometers per hour. So we're going to have to do a dimension conversion. So here goes our dimension conversion. We start out with 1,223.65 kilometers per hour, and we want to then convert the um, time to seconds. So the hour dimensions cancel out. So one hour is equivalent to 3,600 seconds, okay? And then we also want to convert our kilometers to meters, so we multiply by 1,000 meters per kilometer, all right? And after doing this, we get 339.9, or roughly 340 meters per second. So now what we can um, do is take the value in meters per second and plug it into our initial formula. So 339.9 meters per second divided by 60 seconds is going to be 5.67 meters per second, and that answer choice is answer choice B, okay? All right.